Hi, I'm Stefan from Red Slacklines. Welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about the connection of soft shackles to zoom loops. We had some uh, pulling strength tests during the last days and weeks uh, for our zoom loops and for new gear and we found out many interesting things and one thing I'd definitely like to share with you is what happened when we connected a zoom loop to a soft shackle. As you can see something quite unexpected happened here. I will show you some more close-ups in some seconds and that's why I'd like to show this to you and talk a little bit about this. Here are some close-ups of the failed soon loop in the soft shackle after the test. As you can see here, you can easily cut one rope with another piece of rope just by creating lots of friction with very little tension. But in this example you can see that with very high tension and very little movement you can also cut through webbing. As you can see there are still some unknown things about soft shackles connecting highline webbings uh, at zoom loop. So our point of view is we wouldn't recommend using soft shackles to connect uh, highline webbing pieces right now. We believe that lots of more research needs to go into this to make this really safe compared to uh, shackles, quick links, deltas or whatever to connect uh, pieces of webbings to each other. Stay safe and keep the balance.